Hey everyone, it's Tiffany Lanier from LiveWithTiffany.com. It is Tech It Out Thursdays where I get to shoot a tech tutorial video on the Thursday for you. And today we're going to learn how to make YouTube channel art uh, with Canva. For the majority of my YouTube channel life, I just had an image of myself as my channel art. Somehow it managed to fit and it worked and I didn't really want to mess with it. But just a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to finally create my own channel art and because I didn't have Photoshop, I thought it would be really difficult to make just because the dimensions are so odd um, for the YouTube channel art. So I discovered how to make it on Canva and that's what we're going to go over today. So first you want to head over to your YouTube channel if you have one. If you don't have one, create one. Um, and I'm, I'm going to have you download the YouTube channel art dimensions before we head over to Canva. So where your YouTube channel art is right here, um, it's going to have this little pencil in the upper right hand corner. You're going to click that to edit your channel art then we want to go to how to create channel art. It's going to tell you how to create it. And I want to grab the channel art template because that's what we're going to use in Canva. So as you can see, the dimensions are 2560 by 1440, which is actually this type of square. But the channel art is only like the middle part of the square, which is kind of confusing as you can see here. So we're going to download the channel art template. And it's going to look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that for now and we're going to head to Canva. So if you don't already have a Canva account, go ahead and make one of those as well. And for Canva, they have a ton of different templates that you can create for your different social media platforms, but they don't have a YouTube channel one just yet. So we are going to go to custom dimensions and put in the dimensions that YouTube wants, which is 2560 by 1440. And we'll design it there. Okay, so within Canva, it's going to create your own custom dimension, right? And you see this square box. So how do you get that to be your channel art? I want to show you the channel art that I created on Canva not too long ago. And it looks just like this. So I kept it simple and white, but I'm going to show you how we got there. So what you're going to do is upload that template that we um, got from the on how to do YouTube channel art. And actually, the best way to drop that image into Canva is by going to search and going to grids. You want to take the square image and let it just pretty much take over that whole space. You want to go to upload. Make sure you upload the image that you want. Um, I already have it in my database of images, so I'm just going to pick it here. Sorry, got hair in, stuck in my lip gloss. Okay, so I'm going to take that here, move it around so that it actually fills the image space. And this is going to be your guide to getting your channel art together. So you have a lot of gray space, right? Depending on where this image lies, whether it's on a TV screen, on your YouTube, or on your mobile device, the dimensions change. So our main focus is to make sure the information that you really want people to see for your YouTube channel is right here in this darkest gray box. Everything else is just your filler area that you can um, have just a solid color or other designs, but you want to make sure whatever you're trying to say, um, image-wise, text-wise, is in this dark gray space. So how we're going to just get rid of all the other gray space is go to a square. Okay, because I didn't spell square right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to find just a square.
square image. I want a solid square image. Which is usually here. Maybe we can do this one. Nope, it's too transparent, so we will keep looking. Let's see. All right, go to shapes. You don't have to put in square. Um, go to the shapes in the search and pick this square shape. And then what we're going to do is basically cover all the areas that um, that is the lighter gray area of the channel art. So I decided just to keep this color, but you can make the color whatever you like. Um, if you want to just keep it basic, you can do white, you can do red, you can do whatever color you want. So I'm just going to do this over and over again. You just copy that, take it to the other bottom gray area. Okay, and then we'll copy it again, and then we're just going to shape it to basically cover all the gray that's not your center gray area. Because that's where you're going to make your, um, your channel art. Okay, and then we'll copy it again and cover that. So you see, ta-da, all of the extra gray area that you would maybe see on a TV if you're looking at YouTube on a TV screen is going to be covered in something solid. But right here is where you want to put your logo, put the type of channel, your channel name, your image, your picture, all of that goes right in the center. So if you want to keep with the same theme of the same color, we can do that. But you want to make sure you know where the center is. So maybe before we do that, let's fill in this space and then we can do the background. That'd probably be a lot easier so that you don't lose it. All right, so for myself, I'm going to just put my logo in here, right here. And I want a picture of myself. So we use this picture. Okay, here's something that you should take notice of. Because this space is still uh, the grid, I call it, of what we used earlier, which is this picture space that we created, that we input or inserted the, um, the YouTube channel art template, it'll take over, you see that? it'll become anything, any image that you put inside of it. So you want to be really careful not to just put your images in that space until you're ready to fill it. Um, so in this case, I can just line everything up so I know where I'm going to move it next. All right. So now I want to go back to my square and fill this space. If you want to keep a little room there so that you know exactly where it is until you're done, you can do that so you know you're working within that space. So now you're going to push that back. All right, so let me show you that again. So before, let's move it forward. I, if I put anything in it, it'll get lost in there. So make sure that space, you push it back so that it becomes a firm part of your design. Take your logo, put it right there. Um, you can do all types of things here if you want to put a picture or an image, or you don't have to put an image at all, because within your YouTube channel, um, they also have a picture of you. So you could have the picture that you have to put on YouTube and the picture that you actually want to um, have in your channel art, whatever you like. I have both pictures and many people use both both spaces for their images. Here we can take another grid and maybe one that has a shape to it. Hmm. Let's 
let's see. All right, so I'm just kind of going around. Maybe it's in frames that I'm looking for. So there's different frames where you can put your image. So maybe you want your picture not to just be the square that you uploaded, but to be a circle. And you want to make sure you size it to fit into your space, like so. And throw your picture in there. Ta-da! So if I wanted to do that, that's just one example. There's obviously a lot of different um, types of frames that you can put here if you want to put your image there and as you can see I'm not really centered in this picture so if you double click you can move your picture over to fit the frame that you want click the check and ta-da I'm in the center of the circle so now I have my circle image and live with Tiffany um, the logo here and let's say I want to add some text go to text you can go to any one of those text boxes and say episodes I can never spell <laughs> episodes on Monday and Thursday alright so now we're gonna want it to actually fit you can change the type of text you want there's a series of different fonts that you can choose from that goes with your logo. Um, usually mine is around the railway. So I'll go ahead and do railway. Now you have Live with Tiffany logo, my pictures, episodes on Monday and Thursday. You still have a little bit of room and believe it or not it's not gonna look crowded because you have all this white space or um, background space that's going to be a solid color so you can really write whatever you want I believe on my um, on the current channel art that I have I put life biz in progress which is what I talk about a lot on my channel so and I put that made it small change the font and what I did was turn it around, which is really neat. Make sure it's sized properly. And then I moved it right on the side of my picture. So to go back to my original one, I obviously choose a different frame for my picture. But as you can see, I got the same effect, different background color. And if you change your mind on the background color, you can always change it. Can be green everywhere or white and so you really have some flexibility with your your colors even if you made everything else a different color and this a different color oh and that probably be a really good way um, to not lose your spot when creating your center art if you made everything around it a different color and made the center something different um, just so that you know exactly where the center is. So I, I showed you two different ways that you can do that um, by keeping the space here so that you know that you're centered or by simply changing the color and then you're obviously centered. So they're telling me to reload this design but I don't want to <laughs> right now. Um, so there you have it. That is how you make YouTube channel art and all you have to do is upload, well, we have a little snag here. Hmm, this is not fitting. So let me turn that back around. Okay. So now that it fits. There we go. Life biz in progress. So I'll keep it this color just for tutorial purposes, but you can really make it whatever color you desire and whatever type of channel art that you want. Make sure all your cover all your sides are covered and you don't see any more gray, because if you don't see any more gray, you're pretty much good to go. And what you're gonna want to do is 
name the file up here, um, YouTube channel, art, whatever you want. Download it. Download the image. Sometimes it freezes. That could be why they wanted me to re-upload it. So let's try that again. Okay, so now it's preparing your image. And then we'll be ready to upload it to YouTube in just a second. Alright, so that is how my YouTube channel art looks at the moment for tutorial purposes. It's Live with Tiffany, episodes on Monday and Thursday, my picture, and the life biz in progress that I have on the side. You could also put your website, I mean you can really put whatever you like. Okay, so then we're going to head back over to YouTube. You can select your, just so that you remember where we were, right here where you have your YouTube channel art, there's this little pencil in the right hand corner. Edit channel art, select a photo. Alright, so we had it under YouTube channel. You have a lot of things under YouTube channel art. Double click. It uploads. And then it shows you what it looks like on the desktop on the desktop, what it looks like on TV, and what it looks like on mobile. And you can select it. Ta-da! Okay, so what I want you to notice here, and I'm going to change my YouTube channel art back, um, but this is for tutorial purposes. So as you can see, we created um, the channel art in two tones, right? So the center was one color and everything around it was the other color. So do note that in the YouTube channel art area, if you decided to do that, that you would have this area be white and the other side be white or whatever color and you have your center be a different color so if you want it to all be flowing um, and not broken up like that then just make it all one color whether it's the pink or the white or red or anything that you want so it would look more like my previous one like that okay so as you can see it being all white the whole thing is white so just be sure to pick and choose your colors wisely to whatever your brand or whatever type of color you're going for but that is pretty much it after that you have an awesome um, little YouTube channel art alright so if you have any questions make sure you leave them below um, and also let me know what other tech tutorials you might want in the future because I'm going to be making these videos hopefully every Thursday um, and so the more feedback I get on types of tutorials you want the more I have to make so make sure if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and head over to livewithtiffany.com to learn more about me and my initiatives until next time I'll see you in the next video take care bye